Welcome back to the show, everybody. This morning in Project Fitness, we are helping you ease back into an exercise routine for the new year. A lot of us are struggling at this point in January. So here now, our prayers have been answered. To help us out <laughs> is our friend Kerry Taylor from 212 Health and Performance. Good morning, Kerry. Good morning, my man. Good Welcome back. You. Always nice to see you. So as I alluded to in the intro, a lot of people very intimidated. They want to get fit. Maybe they haven't introduced the gym as part of their daily routines. They don't really know where to begin. So where should they start when it comes to this? Or maybe they want to get back they haven't done for a while and they just don't know what to do. Uh, well, there's, I mean, I think the first thing the individual has to do is assess who they are, what level they're at. Mm -hmm. um, if you're somebody who's at a lower level, haven't been to the gym in a very long time, then we want to take a few steps back. Don't overwhelm yourself. And what I like to try to tell people is just let's just aim for 10 to 15 minutes of movement, not necessarily bicep curls or anything like that, of movement right. a day. Um, choose three to four exercises and go about 20 to 30 seconds. 20, 30 seconds of work, 20, 30 seconds of rest, about four to five times. Right. And there's your movement. And what you're saying right there is so manageable. I think a lot of us, we feel overwhelmed. We're not used to working out. I mean, not everyone's body can be a temple like ours. I <laughs> no, mean, let's I get know. real. I'm actually <laughs> Kerry's trainer. I don't like to talk about that, but I showed him everything he knows. But they don't have to really overdo it. They can take their time, like you just said. Correct. I mean, uh, you know, Taking your time, I feel, especially when it comes to exercise, is key. Uh, a lot of people, and that's why the New Year's resolution thing is such a big deal, people aim and uh, set these goals for themselves, but what ends up happening is they overdo it in month one, right. they do too much, and they continue to slowly drop off because... Right. And they give up. Exactly. Right. And you guys at 212 throughout January offering Bring a Buddy, which is great. You can have, you can, if you know someone who's there, go in with them, do it together. Correct. Yes, exactly. I mean. Obviously, when you do things, it's a lot more fun when you have a friend with you. So we decide that we would rather have some of our members bring their friends in and sure. meet us and have a good time and work out. If only I had a friend here who could work out with me to make me feel extra good about myself. Will? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to leave you hanging. I know you I were. Gonna, I was going to leave you hanging so, for a little while. Kerry, what, did the two, what could a couple of guys like us do about this? <laughs> Speak for yourself. Oh, yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger over here. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, it, working out, I think, has that, that picture and that view of always being something very challenging and difficult. It doesn't have to be that way. You can still move and have a good time, especially when you have a friend. So what I'm going to do is uh, just have you guys face each other on the floor in a high plank position or up push-up position, oh just my like God. so. Okay. All right, and all you're going to do, very simple and easy, is reach for his me, opposite hand. This reminds me of my roadshow audition. <laughs> <laughs> opposite hand? Opposite hand, so right okay. to right. Right, all right. And then, and then switch. And then Wait. switch. Now you can clap hands. If you want to have fun, you can shake hands with no. each other. <laughs> if you don't like each other that much, if you want to add a little bit of juice to it, why don't we do a push up, come up, in between, and touch okay. hands. Okay. Yes, right. in first, between. Push up. push up, come up, and touch. Push up. Oh, no. Whoops. Oh, well, you skipped one. You're throwing it off. Good, and relax. These are the worst push-ups in the <laughs> history of the universe. <laughs> now, I can hear that letter's coming in already. Now, this one pretty is going to mean you two are going to have to work with each other here. Okay. All right? You're going to have to touch a little bit more. Okay. So face away from each other. Go back to back. Oh, Got boy. it. All right. Yep. <laughs> now, I'm going to trust you. Squat down. So spread your feet. So Sit hands back. just straight. Now, put his body weight on your body weight. Oh, okay. Now, squat down. Okay. Squat. Now, spread your feet forward. Forward. Feet oh. forward. There you go, feet forward. <laughs> oh, I now see. squat yeah, yeah. down. Go ahead. Oh, God. Now stay there and lean, hold it. Lean okay. back. Stay there and hold it. Don't move. Now you're stuck. So <laughs> I know. Now he. If, if Will doesn't <laughs> like you, he can just get up. <laughs> <This is funny. laughs> there was that scene in Indiana Jones of the Last Crusade where <laughs> Indy and his dad are trapped yeah. together. So there's, there's a million and one things you can do with each other with just your body weight. You don't need to necessarily have a ton of equipment to do anything. Right. right. Um, and the great thing about it is, is, you know, we're having fun here. We're laughing. We're joking around. But that's what friends can do when they work out together. Exactly. You laugh that's, it off. That's and also the key you have somebody it. else who's going to hold you accountable for exactly. not showing up and making sure that you're there when you're supposed to be there. Exactly. And that, right. that's the key. To find somebody who's not afraid to say, hey, let's get up. Let's right. go. Let's we go. made this promise to each other. 
and you'll meet each other for coffee, you'll meet each other for drinks, sure. meet each other to work out, right. and you will be dessert, much more too. sustainable. Yeah, you know, actually, you know what I found, Kerry, is while I ride the exercise bike, I like to eat an ice cream sundae. <laughs> I've seen you do that the other day. <laughs> it's the circle of calories. Well, uh, it's all about fun, it's all about managing expectations, and really just going with the flow, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And the other part to this, which we hear a lot as coaches, is people start gung-ho and really get after it right. and you after that first workout not the next day usually two or three days later you're very sore right. sure. and that makes you oh, why do I want to feel that way again why right. do I want to feel that way right. again you just right. want to make sure you continue to move yeah. stretch hydrate drink lots of water your body will be fine right and how yeah, do you perfect. feel now I feel fine I'm a little winded right. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie, thank you so much thank you very I'm much so weak. <laughs> This okay. is our friend Kerry Taylor from 212 Health and Fitness Great Tips. Thank you so much. If you guys want to jump back into your resolutions with these simple moves, they're a lot of fun. We will have them for you to review at roadshow.com.